Hi guys, I'm Lisa and today I'm going to show you how to do a simple smoky eye. I have the lovely Danielle here with me. Hey Danielle, how are you doing? Good, thank you. So tell me, when you go out, do you love to do a smoky eye? Yeah, normally when I go out. Yeah, and how many colours do you tend to use? Um, two or three. Okay, cool. Yeah, I think that's quite common. But what I'm going to do, Danielle, is I'm going to show you a really simple smoky eye using just one colour. So Danielle's got absolutely no makeup on whatsoever. And the first thing I'm going to do is just take a concealer and I'm going to apply a little bit on top of the eyelids. And what this will do is it will help to prime the eye and it will help to keep your eyeshadow in place all night. Or, as I like to say, from desk to dance floor. Yeah. So, Danielle, what kind of colours do you usually go for? Um, browns or dark greens. Okay, maybe. cool. Yeah, you've got kind of a hazel coloured eye, which that works great. But I'm going to defy all that. I'm going to go for a navy blue, actually, because I think, you know, it's going to really make your eyes stand out. But, guys, you can go for any colour, literally any colour that you like, any colour that you love, whether it's to match your eye colour or your shoes, you can go for it. But I'm going to use this beautiful navy blue because it's quite dark and it's going to give you that real smoky effect. So remember I haven't applied any foundation yet and that's on purpose because what happens is is when you do your eye makeup it can drop underneath the eye and if you've applied your foundation you're just going to have to ruin it after you've done the eyeshadow by wiping it all off to tidy up. So eyes first is always a good tip if you've got the time. So I'm just going to take um, an eyeshadow brush. This is just a, a flat eyeshadow brush, so it hasn't got too much fluff to it. And I'm going to take my eyeshadow colour and just apply it into the centre of the eye. Just like so. And really build it up. So when it comes to a smoky eye, the one brush that you really need to make sure you have is a good blending brush. This one's super fluffy, really, really fluffy, and that's going to really help to blend through. We're just going to, in circular motions, blend the colour out. A top tip is not to go any higher than the socket of your eye, so it's where the crease is in the eye. Go into it with the brush, but don't go over it, because then it can start to look a little bit too dramatic. So I've blended through the eyes now. The key is, is to get a really soft, finish on the outer edge of the eyeshadow. You don't want anything that's too structured or too light. So it's already starting to look quite smoky, Danielle. But what we're going to do now is pile on the mascara. Now, another top tip is to make sure that you apply your mascara on your bottom lashes first. If you do that, when you look up, you're not going to get any mascara onto the hard work that you've done with your eyeshadow. So bottom lashes first. You see, if I'd already done the top lashes, I would have ruined the, the eyeshadow now. See how I turn the wand vertically as well as parallel? The reason I do that is because it really helps to push the lashes up. It really gets to the roots and it helps to give the lashes extra length. You can just clean up any mascara that you've got underneath the bottom lashes if you like. Okay, so a smoky eye isn't complete without some eyeliner. So we're building this look up really gradually, but it's that eyeshadow first, then the mascara, then the liner, and then afterwards we're going to go back into the uh, eyeshadow again. I'm just using a black eyeliner and I'm just going to take it into the waterline that's this area here that's going to really frame the eyes as well and it's going to again help to create that smoky finish and then what we're going to do is we're going to go in with the same color so again just that one navy blue and we're going to go under the bottom lash line it's going to bring the look together and for that you can just use um, either a hard angle brush that you would use for your eyebrows or just a blending brush for under the eyes. Just a small brush, anything you've got. Don't feel like you need to go and buy loads of brushes for this look. This is just a small brush. Even if it's your concealer brush, then just use the tip and apply it under the eye. Okay, so we will blend through the eyes a little bit more, but what I'm gonna do now is start applying the base. So if you have had any um, eyeshadow drop underneath the eyes, then all you need to do is just wipe that away with either a cotton bud, a bit of tissue, or a baby wipe and then just apply your foundation as normal. I'm going to use a cream foundation on Danielle. So I'm just going to apply a bit of this on. Just use your foundation that you love to wear. Remember when you're using your foundation, start in the middle and work your way out. Most problem areas are in the centre of the face. The outer edge tends to be quite good, so you don't want to have cakiness on the outer edge of your hairline. So start in the middle, work out. When applying your foundation or your concealer underneath the eye area, be really careful not to go into the eyeshadow that you've just done. Just work around it and then we can still soften the edges up because sometimes it can really sharpen the edges up if you're putting a, a foundation around it. So just be really careful 
and then we can soften it up again after. So once you've applied your foundation, we're going to add a little bit of bronzer and a little bit of blusher. When you're applying your bronzer, just remember to always tap it off. Whatever bronzer you're using, tap it off and just do a figure of three, either side of the face. This is going to hit all the high points of your face, so the areas that you tan most easily. And it's going to give you a more natural finish. Take it onto the neck just to make sure the face and the neck are the same colour. Then take your blusher. It's going to use a nice bright pink colour, but again, use whatever colour you like. Then we're going to define the brows a little bit. So I'm just going to take a wax and a powder brow kit here. And again, you can either use a brow kit, um, which I would recommend because then they last for ages on the eyes. It's not going to run or anything. But if not, you can just use a brown eyeshadow that matches your hair colour in your brows. It's going to mix the two together. Start by going away from the hair so that the colour goes onto the skin first to give you a more natural finish. And then follow it back. Then we're going to go back into the eyes just with the brushes that we've already used. Just to blend out the corners a little bit more. And then don't forget your lips um, because we've done quite a heavy look. I'm going to do quite a neutral colour on the lips, Danielle. I'm not going to go for anything that's too heavy. And then, Danielle, I think what you need to do is take your hair down. Let's literally take your hair down, pull it out. Danielle, you look absolutely amazing. Are you ready for the big reveal? Yeah. Okay, there you go. Take the mirror, have a look. Yeah, I love it. I love the eyes. It's great, and all with one colour, right? I know, I, wouldn't, I didn't think you could do that. There you go, now you know. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching Close Show TV, guys, and tune in again next time.